Hello everyone, let's talk about the big next cruiserweight matchup between Smith and Masternak. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm quite sure I'm mispronouncing his last name, but yeah, the big fight's happening on 10 of December. But honestly, people, is this the only cruiserweight matchup which is really happening? Hmm? Is it? Gotcha, bitch! This is the cruiserweight matchup, which is happening, and no one's talking about it. You know why? Because no one knew about it. Hey, hey, look at it. WBC. What's that? What's WBC? Makabu fighting for title? Didn't he, he lost the title to Badu Jack when he got knocked out? Oh, yes, he did. But you know what? Jack is moving on to... Could I say better things? Could I say there's no financial incentive in Cruiserweight Division? And even though he won and he got the title, he just does not have the star power to really do anything and, you know, generate, like, the fan base and make some money? Like Canelo, you know, Canelo can fight anyone. People are going to buy the tickets. Now, Jack is moving up to Bridgeweight to get another uh, title shot. Like, will this feel going to change anything? But this is the fight, guys. And why didn't you hear about it? Well, this is the reason. Look at that. The man himself, Mr. Mr. Whatever. The king of mischief or just king of BS. The Don King himself. Promotions, managers, promoter. Who knows? He's back. Look at that. This fight will gonna be like on what? On pay-per-view. No one even knows the fight is happening. I found out like two days ago. That's it. It's gonna be in pay-per-view. This how much people know about this fight. Will this fight will gonna be another Manuel Char farce when someone will gonna get his license denied and not gonna be even able to turn up for the fight? <laughs> Is this another uh, Don King moves? Honestly. So yeah, guys. I mean, we have on the card, so it looks like it's legit, legit, and something is happening. You know, we have Trevor Bryan coming back. Uh, fighting and we have Jonathan Goodry fighting too. Some fights actually those are like not 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 too bad. I mean like they are fighting guys who's actually winning records. But yeah, what is happening? Because there is there is absolutely nothing out there. How is Don King even paying for the belt? Because you know you need to put down certain amount of money to pay for the WBC belt. I have no idea. How, where is he getting the money? Like seriously, can someone explain me this? Like, the math, it just does not end up. Where does the money come from? Is he paying from the pocket? Is really people watching this, this on TV? Is the TV rights generating that much money? Honestly, I have so many questions. How is Don King even pulling this one off? But yeah. But yeah, people. I mean, McAleen, he's no slouch. You know, he had two defeats against two good fighters. Uh, last defeat, he... It was against Briadis, like, in, in those super, uh, super series. I think it was super series, too. Um... Okay, it was close competitive fight, so you know he can box. He's actually quite a good boxer. And I see this fight against Makabu. I think he's gonna win. Okay, I think Makalin gonna win, and I think he's from, uh, if I'm not wrong, he's from Germany, and he gonna brought it back to Germany. And the whole question is, can he make it work? You know, can he sell the tickets? Or maybe Don King will gonna forget to fill out some paper forms, and this will gonna go to absolute, you know, no contest again. So yeah, well, I mean, all, all these questions. That's like that. That's for me here. Um, so I'm kind of, so yeah, guys, I don't understand. Where is this money coming from? How is Don King able to put on these shows? Is he actually paying anyone? It's just for me. And as you see, there's so few people involved in these boxing events. It's a bit shocking. And if you look farther down the line, it just seems at this moment, besides that YouTube boxing, all the boxing is just been going down the drain. So my whole question here is, is this just the cruiserweight division which is suffering and is unable to build like a, a star power or got their own star to represent the vision and make these good matchups? Or is this is whole boxing just overall unable to compete against such promotions as one, one fighting championship or UFC? Uh, yeah. Maybe there's too many cooks, maybe there's too many promotions, maybe there's too many belts. But yes, 
uh, this is how it goes. You have a world championship fight happening and no one even knows. How are you going to sell the pay-per-views, Don? How are you going to do it? <laughs> anyway, guys, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great time. Subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Zas out.